Russian RPGs for the iOS platform, the Xenonia series continues to impress with its latest installment, Xenonia 3 The Midgar Story, is the third in the Korean RPG series that brings back its trademark hack and slash action in an all new and upgraded experience. Though not without its problems, this highly anticipated title is sure to please fans of the first two games, as well as any RPG gamer in general. However, with so many other iOS RPGs now available in the App Store, is Xenonia 3 deep and enjoyable enough to be worth the 5 bucks? Xenonia 3 follows the same concept as its two predecessors by allowing you to choose from four different classes, of which include the Combat, Sword Knight, and Shadow Hunter, Long Range Nature Shaman, and the Mechanic Launcher. Of course, each of the four classes have their own abilities to learn and equipment to wield. Interaction is done by virtual buttons, with the main two buttons being a D-pad on the bottom left of the screen and an action button on the bottom right. There are also buttons to place abilities and items at the bottom of the screen, which can be cycled to provide quick access to other abilities. The gameplay is very much hack and slash, meaning the combat involves running up to enemies, pounding on the action button to kill them. You'll also be completing quests, fighting bosses, collecting various items during your lengthy adventure. One of the most noticeable aspects of Xenonia 3 is its gorgeous art style, the detailed sprites and colorful animations make the game very pleasing to watch and is easily one of the most attractive sprite-based games in all the App Store. The third in the trilogy also features everything you've come to love from the series. A lengthy storyline, loads of quests, 136 of them to be accurate, tons of items and weapons, and plenty of unique locations to explore. Combat is also as fast-paced as ever allowing you to slice and dice countless enemies at incredible speed. The boss battles also provide satisfying challenges that do well in breaking up the grinding and the questing pace, unless you're too weak. Then you're forced to return to grinding quest to level up. Unless you're a diehard hack and slash RPG gamer, chances are that some Xenonia 3 elements will turn you away. For one, prepare to grind. A lot. Those of you unfamiliar with the term grinding basically means killing tons of monsters to gain experience, complete a quest, etc. As mentioned, the bosses are pretty challenging, and more often than not, you'll run into bosses at a weaker state than needed to defeat it. Also, most of the quests are unfortunately not very exciting, many of them requiring you to go on boring errands, grinding through enemies until they drop a certain item. And don't expect a class change to spice things up, since they all basically involve the same thing, mashing away at the action button the whole time. Xenonia 3 without a doubt improves upon its predecessors, successfully providing a rich RPG adventure filled with catchy music, stunning visuals, and everything you'd ask from a hack and slash title. However, I simply cannot recommend this title to anyone who doesn't have the patience for long grinding sessions, chore-like quests, and mindless bud mashing gameplay. If you love this genre, then this is the game for you. But those of you who aren't are better off saving those five bucks and spending them on other titles. Overall, Xenonia 3 gets eight screen smudges out of 10.